Welcome back, everyone. You usually don't think of flowers and cold weather going together, but we are here to tell you, your yard doesn't have to look drab all season long. Garden specialist Danny Watson was here back in November with ways to spruce up your landscape for instant curb appeal. Take a look. It's just making me so happy with this beautiful selection of things to really just brighten up your season. Right, Danny? You're right. This is the time to do it. It is. You, want, you don't want to be planning when it's 20 degrees. You want to get out there <laughs> right. now and uh, get some pops of color in for the winter. And you don't have to sacrifice. Yes. There's a lot to choose from. Let's start out with pansies. That's probably the most popular winter flower that people put out. And I've got one right here that's also trailing. So if you have a pot that you want it to spill over, that's the variety you want to reach for. And then also violas. Now I this violas. is my favorite, I gotta tell you, because sometimes with the pansies, the blooms are so big that they can fall over and you have to deadhead them. Yeah. There's no work with these and they're always in bloom. You have color every day. Okay. And the colder it gets, the harder they bloom. Okay. They love a good frost. Well, Danny was proud of me. I told him uh, if we wanna mention these right over here, uh, right at my front door, I did the rosemary plant with nice. some uh, trailing pansies and a little bit of creeping Jenny. I love that. Does that sound good? No, I think that's going to look fantastic. As it grows in together, it's going to be fantastic. Good. Also, uh, snapdragons, if you need some height, you can put these towards the back, and they give you that. And now sometimes in the hardest cold weather, they'll stop bloom production. So don't give up on them. Don't think that something's wrong. As soon as we get a couple warmer days, they start back up. Got it. All right, and then you, other accent plants that we love to use, ornamental cabbage, kale. You know, they add so much to the pot. They're, they're great to give you a contrast. And also Dusty Miller, one of my other favorite favorites that does great in summer and in winter, and I love that velvety leaf. Sorry, has, my, yeah. everyone in the control room wants to know if we can eat it. You want me they to are, take a bite? It was so just too listen, close. Listen, they are edible, but they're really grown to be ornamental. Yes, so. exactly. Michelle, I'll get you, I'll make you a salad another time. Okay. <laughs> right. I also want to mention, we're talking about these uh, larger plants out yes, front. Yes. So if you have a bigger home, you want to do something at the front door, you want to flank it with two nice pots, here's some great selections. You can do uh, boxwoods, hollies, the camellia's nice if you have shade like my, the front of my house faces north, so okay. there's not a lot that you can put out there that'll make it. Right. The camellias will thrive in that kind of okay, good. condition. Also the rosemary. Those are great centerpieces you can put in the middle of your pot and then choose any of these colors to do a nice combination. Perfect, and I would love to make one now. What right, do we let's need? Do our one. thriller, filler, our filler, filler, and our spiller. Exactly. Filler. Hey, she's, she's got it. Finally. All right, so we are gonna, we're going to start out with some bulbs. Um, the fun thing about using bulbs is you can put them in the bottom of your pot before you ever start, and then around springtime, they're gonna burst through and they're gonna give you this fantastic bouquet that you forgot is even there. Right. So oh. you plant them now. It's like a you, special spring surprise. It is. And you can do hyacinths, tulips, daffodils, you kinda just, whatever you, um, is your choice, and, and do a lot. Like you wanna do at least like five, seven, maybe really? even a dozen. Yeah, okay. cause if you only do a few, it's not enough. It doesn't make that statement. Okay. So if you use quite a few and just stuff them down in there. You really can't go wrong. Got it. We'll get them all down there. And I've got, I used about seven or eight in this one. Okay. So this will just come right through. And right. Uh, Danny, do we do it just along the edges? Because I was kind of just yeah. putting them anywhere. I kind of put them towards the center towards so the center. that it will all come up and you'll have that height. And, that and then is, you it'll can... be like a bouquet. Oh, right. love it's it. Pop Can't up, wait. About February, those okay. will start coming up. All right, let's all right. take these out. So we're going to plant all this all combination. These. Got it. And this is an ornamental mustard. This is one of my absolute favorites. We're going to break up this root system a little yeah. bit. Oh, this one's already broken up. Okay, and we're going to put this one towards the back. I love this color and I love that leaf. I do let's too. Let's go kind of right here, this Christine. This one right yep, here. Let's add a little More bit of soil More towards the edge or still? Um, let's, I'm going to give you a little bit of soil. Okay, please let's do. Let that back up because it's a little low. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna put him towards the front, and then next I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna open that ivy. Next okay. I'm gonna add and this. And the ivy pansy. will trail as well. It will. So we're gonna put that towards the front. Perfect. Let's uh, kind of put him in here. In Is there. he gonna sink too low? Got it. There we go. Better. Yep. Good. That works. Yeah. All right, we're gonna finish it off Clean with up. some reindeer moss. That is my new favorite, um, like finishing touch on all my pots. And okay. So you've got a bag right there. Oh, you good. Help me out. Oh, good. So you add this, and I love the color of it. I'm like, do I need to pick this up, Danny? Because I did not <laughs> add this to my pot. Yeah, just do it across the top. I think it looks great, and the best part is it holds moisture so that your pot doesn't dry out as quickly. Perfect. This is like really pretty stuff too. Okay. It's just 
Put that right in there. Oh, there that's you go. So it gives pretty. you that finishing touch. Look at how this quickly is we put together. that together. You have whites, you have purples, you got the greens. I think it's going to look great. And let's talk about watering. And once we actually assemble our pots, you need to water it in and then fertilize it. A lot of people don't think about that, but you want to pick up some pansy food. Yes. And, and fertilize every other month. You don't have to feed as often okay, during good. the winter. And, but as far as watering, um, you know, of course well, you have to I, tell me like I'm a child. I, but tell me, so I, every day. I would, for... No, I would not do every day. I would soak it really well, and then I would do it about every three days. And it also depends on the weather. If we have a really windy day, a container will dry out quickly. Okay. So you just kind of go know. out there and do the finger test and see if it needs some uh, extra water. Awesome. Then also, I have a couple of extra ones that I pre-built, and I used some Arborvitas. This is a green giant so that's going to get nice and tall. I added some Allure Petalum and also some Pansies. This will look great by your front door. I also yes. used another compact Arborvita. I did an ornamental grass, and then I just added some white Pansies. Danny, thank All you right. so much. You always inspire me. And I do have them on speed dial. Yes, it's true. <laughs> thank you so much. And of course, great if you have me. any questions, questions, we'll post this segment on our Facebook page.